How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Set Mew here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be opening a Japanese Pokemon 151 box. First of all though, this was supposed to be my Chinese opening, but unfortunately my product didn't show up in time, so I kind of had to go into my vault, almost, well, this is the only sealed item I had. This one actually isn't from the huge um, second reprint wave, Rather, this is the box that I bought off Pokemon Center Japan when they were made to order all the way back. I don't know how, how long ago that is. A year? Probably not. That's probably too much. Anywho's, let's rip this one open and see what we can find. I've opened one of these before and Pokemon 151 is very fun to open. Well, that just came apart. Good thing I already have a box. So let me just put that over here and see what we can find. That actually does bother me. All right, and here we are. So let's see what we can find in this booster box. I'm actually kind of excited. We'll see if it was a good idea to open the, the one item that I've meant to keep kept sealed for a really long time, just because, you know, it has Mew on the front. Really wanted to keep this one sealed. So there are, in terms of potential pulls, as you can see right here, there is this really cool looking reverse rares, and you get one Master Ball rare in each box, and then of course, as per usual with these Japanese booster boxes, we do get one promised super rare, and I'm pretty sure we also get three illustration rares, or in Japanese, as they're called art rares for this one. But let's see what we can find in this one. I think the first box I opened wasn't really that successful. I think I pulled the um, the Arcanine as a Master Ball, um, as a Master Ball reverse, and I can't even remember the super rare I've pulled. Might have been a, um, whatchamacallit, a golem, there we go, couldn't think of the name for a second. Might have been a golem, although I don't know for sure. I did pull the Nitto King illustration rare, or art rare, sorry. The Nitto King art rare. I, I kind of have to look out for, is that our Master Ball? That is our Master Ball reverse, okay. It is a Geodude. So here we go with our Master Ball. Master Ball reverse. Nothing too special, the Geodude isn't anything to write home about, but there we are. That is our Master Ball promo for this one. Let me put that over here just off screen. And we still have a few pulls that we can get, as I said in the opening right here. So while we do open this, let me just talk a bit about my Chinese products that I was supposed to open. So I was going to open, I'm still going to if they arrive at some point, the um, Diamond and Pearl Clan gift box set or whatever it's called. That one is really, really cool. I think I've put it on screen in some of my past videos before. It's actually a really cool product. Not as cool as the first anniversary gift box, mind you, but still pretty cool. Of course, you get lots of lots of extras in this one, most notably a really, really cool looking playmat. And of course, the two promos of Erida and Adaman that were previously featured in V-Star Universe and um, Crown Zenith. Here we go. A double rare. A nice looking double rare. Man, opening this set back up is kind of cool. I can't believe how cheap it has gotten. Not as cheap as normal Japanese sets, because normally if you look at the price for um, Shiny Treasure EX and then like Ruler of the Black Flame, just to name um, two, they're really low. Like you can have them in, in Germany at least for below 40 euros, which is insane. Here we go, we've got a Charmeleon. That's pretty cool. We've got a Charmeleon. Wonder if I could pull a God Pack. Dude, imagine that. I pulled... Now I can safely say I have actually pulled a God Pack before on the channel. I actually did. I actually pulled a God Pack from Shiny Treasure EX, and I pulled a Demi God Pack from the English version of Pokemon 151, which was pretty cool. We'll see if we can repeat that. Probably not. Here is the um, evolution of our Geodude. An Alakazam, and just a Snorlax and a Dugong right there. Nothing to write home Oh, sh I have to put the Tremeleon over there and see what we can fight. I still need so many cards from Pokemon 151. The Japanese version, not as much so. More like the English version, but then again, doesn't really matter to me, since I do collect uh, both Japanese, English, and Chinese for that matter. So either way, if we do uh, pull a special illustration, or as I've said with the with the English opening for 151. If you manage to get a special illustration rare or special art rare, as they're called in Japanese, you're gonna be happy because all of them are bangers. Like, there is not a single bad 
um, special illustration or special opera that I can think of, actually. All of them are really, really good, in my opinion. Here we have a Flareon. And just a Magneton at the end there. Still, we've gotten one art rare so far. So there should still be two more art rares in here. There we go. That was a bit hard to rip open for some reason. Maybe that means there's something special inside. Maybe this is where our super rare is. Let's see. Is it going to be super rare? We've got the uncommon. We've got the uncommon. Nope. Just a rare Mr. Mime. No goes for that one. And that finishes off the right side of the booster box. Can't believe the right side is already over. So what else am I going to open? Oh yeah, I I am going to open the um, new set Brave Enchanting Stars. Which is also... Um, some packs come with that gift box that I'm going to open. But I'm going to open two fat booster boxes of the set anyways. So we do get a good look at the set. I hope they do arrive by next week so I can... I can upload the videos, like next week, of course. Every Saturday, 4 p.m. Central European Summertime, there's gonna be a video coming up. And then I've started doing more, um, whatchamacallit, um, more shorts again. I used to do that a while ago, and now I've, I've, I'm back into it, posting a shorts every Wednesday, I think, right now is the release schedule. We'll see if I manage to keep it up. I would love to. I have to, because I do want to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We'll see if we manage to do it. Come on, super rare. No, just a Nitto King. Really cool looking Nitto King, but just a Nitto King nonetheless. Okay, let me do one for, for the shorts video. Hang on. All right, there we go. Cleared off the tape a little bit, so let's move on. Still have two illustration rares or art rares to pull, and then... Of course, our super rare. It's actually been kind of a long time for me, personally, since I have opened um, Japanese booster boxes. That's not our super rare. I was just, I was just trying to peek if it was. A nice looking Zapdos EX. What I'm doing, I, I don't even show this off. This is really cool. A Zapdos EX. There is our third EX card. So for Japanese booster boxes, we should expect at least for one for one. Whoops. At least for 151, we should expect, I think, four of these. And then, of course, um, three art rares. And then our super rare. The super rare seems to be hiding in the last pack. Or maybe the god pack is hiding in the last pack. Maybe the god pack. I might do the card trick for the next few. If we don't pull the super rare in this pack right here, I might start doing the pack trick. Okay, and no super rare, it appears. What if... Even though I bought this box from Pokemon Center Japan, which is probably the safest place you could buy a, um, a booster box. What if this has been tempered with anyways? I don't think so because it was sealed. Like in shrink wrap and everything. Oh, hang on. Wanted to do the card trick, of course. Of course, if we do see a... Um, I don't know how the God Pack start. I think they start immediately with an art rare. If we do see an art rare at the front, then we know already that it is a God Pack. Um, but we shall see. Oh, here is our second art rare. I haven't pulled this before. This is actually super cool. I actually really, really like this. So is this Lord Helix? I'm pretty sure it is, right? This must be featuring Lord Helix, or might actually be featuring um, the Kabuto in the background. But I think it's featuring Lord Helix. Really cool looking one. That's really, really nice. I do like pulling um, illustration rares that I haven't seen before in person. The Charmeleon I've actually seen a bunch of times now. Hope, I hope we pull another one that I haven't seen before. Oh, speaking of art rares, have you seen some of the art rares from the upcoming, um, from the upcoming Japanese set? What is it called? Can't, can't remember the name of the upcoming Japanese set. But uh, the art rares in that set are so incredible. Here we have a, whatchamacallit, Butterfree and our rare Starmie. Hang on, so let me look up the, the name of the set so I don't get this wrong. Okay, so the Japanese set I was just talking about is called Stellar Miracle. I don't know why I completely forgot the name. It's actually gonna be a pretty cool set. That might be one of the sets that I do open on the channel, you know, once they release or once I do get them to Germany. I haven't done that in in a long time for, for Japanese sets, but that one might actually do it because the art rares are insane that you can pull from there. Um, they featured a Raboot, which looks absolutely incredible. And they featured a Zara Aura, 
which both of those are like among my favorite cards. Ooh. Oh, do you see that shine? Oh, what is it gonna be? Now, why is it the Alakazam again? Why can't I escape this card? I This is the fourth time I've pulled the Alakazam. It is a special art rare, though. It is a banger. But why does this card keep following me wherever I go? I've pulled it twice in German, I've pulled it once in English, and now I've pulled it in Japanese. Are you serious? I'm not complaining, I'm really happy because we did pull a special art rare. Which is much better than just your standard super rare. But Jesus, okay. Man, that is, that is incredible. The texture though is way better than the je than the English one, like, by all means, holy moly. Looking at this card side by side, or, you know what I might do once I'm done with these two packs, I might pull out the English one that I have, and just do a little bit of a texture comparison, that might be fun. But anyways, let me just put this over to the side. And, we have two packs left, we should still get one EX card, and we should still get one Art Rare. So, let's see. Um, I guess it was good that I opened this, this box. I'm not too mad. If I just pulled a, um, just a normal super rare, not a super art rare or a special art rare, I would have been maybe a little bit sad, but now that I pulled one, even though it is one that I've already pulled a couple of times before, I'm still very, very happy. Definitely do not regret opening the box from my sealed collection. Let's see, is the art rare? Nope, there is the Mew. That's also a really good one. Wait, have I? No, I think they might have reprinted this one in Shiny Treasure EX because I could swear I have two of these already in my binder. But this one is from 151, so that is very, very cool. So I have two versions of this one, even though the artwork and everything is the same, but still pretty cool. Let me put that over there. And our last pack, this should feature our last art rare. So let's see what we can find here. Let's see what the last art rare is. As I've said, I was, I'm really, really hoping it's an art rare that I haven't seen before in person. Not necessarily one of the starters, because I'm pretty sure I've seen all of the starters and their evolutions. So, maybe just something different. Not the Nitto, Nitto King, seen that one before as well. But let's see. That, I've seen that one, the Poliwhirl. Still pretty cool though. That is a really, really cool illustration though. I'm not mad that I pulled this one twice. That is a really sick illustration. Really happy about the the Lord Helix, though. And here's our Jolteon as the last card in that pack. So let me just grab the English Alakazam and show you the difference in texture. Okay, so here we are with the English one and the Japanese one. I hope it shows on, on video. You can see with the English one, you do have a few lines right here where, like, the, the light would be. Let me just put this one down. You have a few lines right here, like, it's definitely showing but it's not as pronounced as the Japanese one. If I just put this into the light right there, look at how much better the texture is. It also feels like it's shining much more. Maybe that's just me, but it feels like the hollow foil is a little bit better. But who knows? Let me know which version you like. But I'm, well, pulled this card four times. What else can I say? Um, the only thing left to say, I guess, is if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.